If your church is struggling to gain traction on social media, it's likely because you're making one of the three following errors. A trio of errors that I like to call the three deadly sins of social media. Well, hey there, I'm Brady Shearer from ProChurchTools.com, helping you seize the 167 hours beyond your Sunday service. We publish new videos like this every single week, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button as well. Social media can be a source of unique frustration for churches. Most churches don't have an individual on staff with extensive social media experience or training. Churches know social is important, but they don't have a firm grasp on how to actually do it well. And this leads to a myriad of bad mistakes. But there are three mistakes in particular that stand above the rest. The three deadly sins of social media. If your church isn't gaining traction online, you're likely suffering from one of these three things. So let's look briefly at each. Deadly sin number one, inconsistency. Social media, it's a lot like diet and nutrition. Just like fad diets and 30-day sprints won't do you very much good in the long term of your health. Likewise, social requires you to show up every single day. Perfection isn't required, but consistency is. Using a scheduling tool can help with this consistency if you're having trouble. This is an irrefutable law of social. Showing up and being present every single day, even in smaller ways, will be much more effective and impactful for your church than having a single wildly popular viral campaign. Deadly sin number two, going wide instead of going deep. Look, I know how limited your resources are as a church. So rather than spreading your money, time, and creative resources across multiple social platforms, just focus on one before moving on to a second. And you'll know you're ready to move on to a second social platform when you no longer feel like you're struggling to create content for just one. As for which platforms to be present on, Facebook is still by far the most popular. 68% of American adults are on Facebook compared to just 28% on Instagram, the runner up. My recommendation as of mid 2017 is to build a presence on Facebook first. Go deep on that platform and then when you're ready, move to Instagram. Finally, deadly sin number three, making your church the hero. And while the other two deadly sins on this list are tactical in nature, this deadly sin is more philosophical, which makes it a bit more difficult to grasp. But with that being said, this deadly sin poses the most danger to your church's social media efforts. Because even if you dial in your social media strategy to a single platform, and even if you're publishing consistent content on that platform every single day, if you're making the content all about yourself, all about your church, you're gonna lose. Just think about the reason that social media is so popular. We use it because it's valuable to us. We like to see what our friends and family are up to. Social media is relational, it's entertaining, it's informative. So when you're deciding what your church should post on social media, you need to think about the audience that's gonna see it. What would they find valuable? Social media, it's not about you, it's about them. So what I recommend that you do is look for the intersection between what your church can help people with and what your audience will find valuable. And the key is to find something that meets both of those criteria at that intersection. Here are three quick examples, parenting, marriage, and finances. Each of these three subjects are spoken of significantly in the Bible and are significant to the Christian faith, yet at the same time, these are subjects that almost everyone cares about. So look for that intersection between what your audience will value and where your church will naturally be able to help people. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button below and definitely subscribe to the Pro Church Tools channel. We post new videos like this every single week, helping your church seize the 167 hours beyond your Sunday service. If you've got questions or comments, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.